Hi everybody, welcome along. Oh, don't my hands look big. <laughs> I'm quite cropped in today, so I wanted you to see what was going on. Um, but it's had the effect of giving me giant hands. <laughs> anyway, it's an exciting day. It's day to start a new project. We finished off the little, um, what do you call it, ring band journal. And we finished off the massive Edith Holden a mini album. We're still progressing with the Mariposa mini album, but I need another project to fit in with it. So I scoured Etsy, <laughs> as you do, and I was open to suggestions. I thought I might do birds or whatever. And I asked Mr. F, you know, give me a give me a subject to go for. And he said, well, it doesn't really matter what I say. You'll go back to flowers anyway. So yeah, you're right. But this time I've gone for wildflowers. Not the pretty, pretty little ones, but wildflowers. And I'm quite fortunate that I've got the Tim Holtz wildflower dies. So I've cut some of those out, but I will cut some later this afternoon in watercolour paper and paint those up. And I've been through one of my wildflower books and cut some die cuts out. But actually, they're massive. <laughs> they're gigantic. Um... So I probably, these these will be fine for the pages, but not for things like tags and uh, that sort of thing, I don't think. Um, I love that daisy, it's so beautiful. But anyway, those are they. I have them at my disposal if I need them. But I thought we'd start off the project just nice and gently by doing some journaling cards. I always end up putting quite a lot of journaling cards in, in my uh, journals. I find them more useful than tags and the other thing is I generally don't put ribbon in my journaling cards whereas <laughs> I can't get over the size of my hands um, whereas uh, with tags you do put something through the top and it all adds bulk to your to your journal so so the set that I decided upon was Lorna Taylor's uh, from Taylor Made Journals her wildflower sets there are three of them. I have them all. And um, yeah, I haven't printed them all out yet. Um, I will at, at some stage and show you them all. They are absolutely stunning. They're gorgeous. Um, so what I did was she provides you with a sheet that's got eight smaller versions of the pages on. So I, I took one of those sheets and um, cut them out. And I've sewn around them. Now that was another thing. What colour thread to use? I don't want this to be in any way grungy. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I printed them out on white first and they were a little bit too stark for what I had in mind. So I've now printed them out on cream and they're much better, much more in keeping with what I'm after. But I don't want it grungy. I don't want any sort of dark browns or anything like that so I went through all my distress inks and this is the one that I landed on pumice stone and it's a nice grey and that fits in nicely because the text is grey has a general sort of grey overtone to it so I printed those out I've sewn around them and like I say I couldn't decide what colour before I got started really I did that one and it's all in cream and it's really hard to see. I mean, I've told you it's there, but it's it's almost impossible to see it. So I decided that I would go for a variegated thread. I used to have a lot of variegated threads when I quilted. Um, but I haven't used them since because I've always wanted a set colour. But the, the colours in here are sort of dusky pink, a grey and a fawny, beigey sort of colour. And I think they go great. So I've sewn around all of those and all of these. Th these bits of card have been cut and hanging around on my desk. I couldn't even tell you how long for ages, ages and ages. So I've decided to sew around them and make them into journaling cards. Uh, the other thing I have at my disposal is this beautiful set of playing cards. Um, I know you girls in America and guys, you get it. You can get them, you know, quite easily. 
but not not silver here we don't get them at all but they are absolutely thank you so much to jen and mike for sending these to me i adore them absolutely as you knew that i would i mean they're just lovely look loose strife that's a, a, a wildflower gorgeous they're all oh flaming sword we call that salvia um they're, they're, they're just gorgeous i love them and they will definitely be uh, a major player in my in my journal okay so well let's ink around some things so this pumice stone it's not dark it is gray and it's perfect for what i want i think so we'll just make a start on one of these, see where we get to. Just pop all these away. I'm certainly not going to sit and ink around all of those in one go. That would be bore even me to tears, and I'm the one doing it. <laughs> I did wonder about some acetate as well, but then I decided no. So the grey just makes it pop a little bit without it looking too dark okay so there we are so the idea is that i'm going to take one of these stick it onto there and uh, do something with it so i think the thing to do is just ink a bit of text in the background i have got little sort of flowery stamps but i like text so I'm going to use the stays on in stone grey. The black is too stark a colour for what I'm after. So I'm using the stone grey and this is just a, a random text stamp. So stamp is anonymous one so it's nice but it's just random. So I'm just going to pop that down in various places. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm happy with that. Actually, well, I've still got someone here. It would be daft not to do the one underneath, wouldn't it? That's nice. It's sort of mellowed out a bit now. Yeah, that's fine. Good. It would just be silly not to do that one, really. Uh, the stays on, you do need to wash off your uh, stamps. Uh, your, yeah, your stamps. Um, and if you leave them for a while, you need to wash them off with something like acetone. Right, okay, so I just need two of these. I don't think it matters uh, what I pick. They're all gorgeous. So I'll choose those two because they're the, on the top. And I think I just need to stick those down. Plain and simple. So I'm back to my favourite colour. Things can be a bit tricky to stick down once you've sewn around them. They um, they don't like sewing that margin between the the stitches and the the edge. But if you put glue over your stitches, not too much because it'll come through at the right side, um, you'll be all right. Right. So. I want it straight really I don't care whether it's dead central or not just straight is the main thing just gonna get a bone folder and just press that around the edge now it's decided to leak glue don't do that no need for it. Maybe you don't need to press so hard. Maybe I don't need to put so much glue on, you mean? Right, so that's that one stuck down. This one's going to have slightly less glue on it. <laughs> for obvious reasons. Or at least slightly less around the edge. It's another gorgeous day here in North Northumberland. 
really sunny, warm, pleasant, fabulous day. Glad to be alive day. I don't know what I've done with the lid from my glue. Oh, there it is. So this one, let's pop that about there. Let's just see if it looks straight along the bottom. I think so. I think so. Because when it's warm, the glue goes a bit mad. You ladies that are, and gents that live in warm climates, I don't know how you cope with your glue. Because if this is a warm day here, my glue just goes mad. And it's not thinned down. I haven't thinned down the collal in any way to get it into that container. It's full strength. Right, okay, there we are. Well two journaling cards and to be honest they look really nice like that I just love them they're just so pretty but let's decorate so I've got as I say I've got oh that's that's a nice color with this that looks really nice there picks that up beautifully and this is purple and I'm lucky enough to have some purple Maybe a little bit taller. And maybe a bit of green, perhaps. Those are the colours that are in the card. I, th I think that looks really nice. I don't think we need to do any more to those than, than just that. Right, I've looked out my uh, tacky glue. Tacky PVA glue with extra fine precision nib. Okay, I got this from uh, Hobbycraft, which is, uh, well, as you know, I'm sure it's just one of our, it's probably, actually, there's, there's two shops that we have that are crafty shops. Uh, one is Hobbycraft and the other is The Range. And apart from that, we don't have any actual, unless they're independent, sort of, uh, hobby, uh, craft what am I trying to say unless they're independent craft shops we don't have any others apart from hobby craft and the range and they're both quite expensive really um, which is why I tend to buy most of my stuff from Amazon or eBay or you know online somewhere um, there's always somebody selling it cheaper including the postage sort of thing um but this was one purchase that i made from hobbycraft because it was cheap i mean i think it was a quid um so you know you can't grumble at that really can you so i thought i'd get it and give it a try and i did give it a try and then i don't know something happened it got put in the drawer and i completely forgot about it until today and i thought oh what am i going to put those die cuts down with I need something with a precision nib because um, they can be a pain can't they so I thought yeah get it out give it a whirl I finished the massive Edith this is going up this side here the massive Edith laughingly called mini album nothing mini about that album at all it's gigantic um i don't know you know i had the cover but then when i put the pages in it it, it was like super sized it um i'm really pleased with it though i absolutely love it well i think that's a really nice journaling card i don't think we need anything more than that it just looks pretty doesn't it i think so so I'll put that on the done pile, says she, as if I had one. Mm -mm. Uh, I'll put that over there. Right. So these two, pretty much the same. I think if I get the, the purple and the green down, I don't think I need anything else. 
Let's see which looks best which way on. No, I like the green at the front, I think. So I'll stick that there. I often find when you're starting a new, uh, I find personally, uh, obviously not everybody, um, when I start a new journal, the thing that I generally do is rush ahead, get all my papers sorted out into uh, signatures and uh, all the, I call them inclusions, you know, the book pages and everything like that that I want to work on. Um, with this one, however, I'm just easing myself into it by getting to know the pages a little bit and just taking my time and doing this, which will, you know, I hate it at the end. Absolutely hate it when you come to the end and you've then got to start putting all your making, all your blinking ephemera for it. I really hate that. Um, so this time I thought, well, I always put journaling cards, quite a lot of journaling cards actually, into my uh, journals. So I think it's safe enough to start with them. I don't want loads of them all the same though. That's the other thing. Yeah, I think that looks nice there. This has got lots of little bits. Oh my life. Could be here some time. I've seen people do this all sorts of ways. Some people put glue on the back of their hands and dab it into them. I don't think I could bear that, to be honest. I can't bear, oh, I'm a bit funny with things on my hands. When it comes to like chopping up meat to put in food, you know, I, I can't do it. I can't bear the texture of it. Um, the other thing I'm really funny about is milk. <laughs> if milk's been open longer than a day, it's off in my mind. And I can't smell it because if it was off, I would just be sick. So, um, yeah, we always have to be going out for fresh milk. So I'll have that down to the bottom and then line parallel with that stem. I just print it over a little bit there. There we are. Oh, it looks pretty. looks very wild flowery and that's what I'm after <laughs> so we're all right then aren't we I am never having the camera this close again this is ridiculous I look like I look like some sort of giant <laughs> right so we've got two these two look nice don't they look quite different for all the actually the same so we've got this one that we've already stamped on we stamped the um stamp off on it. Uh, let's have a look then. It doesn't matter which one I select. I haven't inked round here, have I? Did I ink round the last one? No. Well, I'm not so worried about the bit in the middle, but I do want to ink round the edge. This makes it look a bit more finished. This is the card that I'm using is actually from Hobbycraft. I bought it in A3 size um, and it's quite sturdy card actually. I'm, I'm pleased with it. When it's finished I will buy some more. I really like it. I like cream. Cream's a good colour to have a lot of. And I will print the entire kit out. Kit on cream as well. But once I've decided what I'm doing, what I what I know, when I know what I'm going to back onto what, you know, double print sort of thing. Right, so I could put that on there. And maybe introduce one of my giant flowers. Oh, I think that's upside down. <laughs> flowers, flowers are growing the wrong way. Um, I've got the daisies. I don't think they're right for there. I've got a big yellow flower. It's quite pretty actually. 
looks quite nice let's see what else we've got that might be a bit more purpley oh that's a nice one yeah it's nice i like that that's very nice now then the question is no not where is my lid um do i want to stamp behind that or to leave that on its own have i got anything else that's that sort of color that i could perhaps put at the other side balance it up a bit i've got this clover a similar sort of colour isn't it I could cut it off there and put that down there hmm I thought I had more clover than that actually oh yeah here we go oh or actually that's a better match with that right you're out mate for the time being I'll come back to you don't worry um but that's a better colour match Mm -mm. is it too much on a journaling card is there such a thing I'm going to do that I'm just going to do it so I'm going to cut that off there okay so where are my scissors here I've been working on my new desk today I've had to come back to this one for the time being to video but soon i will have um the facility to video over on my new desk no stopping us right so i can move that up a little bit to there and then this one i'm gonna have to prune a little yeah i'm gonna have to prune all of that off i think i've left a little white border around these fussy cuts because that's what I like um, you know if you want to do yours really up to the edge then that's what you do you do what makes you happy but I'm certainly not inking them I'm kind of losing this wildflower behind a sea of wildflowers haha <laughs> That wants to turn in that way, so let, let's allow that to turn the way it wants to. And let's just see if we think that's just a bit too much. What do we think? I think it's completely drowned out. That's not what I wanted. So I'm going to stick that one down because I like it. Let's just see if I need all those leaves or if it needs a little bit of pruning yeah it needs a little bit of pruning get the secateurs out it's a bit thick there as well needs just a bit more more of a cut it's been getting tired by the time I got to this one they are very fussy fussy cuts Right, there we go. Lovely. Let's try this then, see what we reckon. Yeah, I, I think that's nice. I don't think it drowns this completely. Yeah, that's it. Honestly, who would have believed it would take so much fussing? I'm going to try this tacky glue to stick this down. Why not? If you've got to squeeze quite hard. Wow, you've really got to be quite strong to get this out of here. I wouldn't like to do a whole project with it, I'll tell you that. Let's put a bit on that where I started and finished my stitches. The machine did overlock them. Um, but it's always nice to be doubly safe. 
So I'm just once again going to try and get this in the middle. Not too bad at all. I don't think this is going to squidge this glue because I don't think there's enough of it. I don't think it's squeezed enough out. So let's just go around the edges. There we go. L actually, it looks so nice just like that, doesn't it? I, I might even leave one just exactly like that because it just looks so super pretty. But not this one because we've allocated it, this clover. So it's having it, whether it likes it or not. Well, we want them all to look a little bit different, don't we? We want every journaling card in their thing to look identical. Okay. So I think it's somewhere about there. Let's bring that in so I can get that leaf in. There we go. Oh, that's just pretty. That's what I wanted. I wanted, I want pretty. <laughs> I'm really not in any way, which way, grungy mood at all recently. I just want pretty. And I think that is pretty. I think you'd come across that in a journal and think, ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> right. Three, three done. We're mass making, guys. We're actually mass making today. Probably the first time ever in my life, if I'm honest with you. Uh, right, so we've got this one. I do love the text in the back, but it does give them all a very similar flavour. Wow, that's a bit skinny. I don't think that's going to work. I could put it at the bottom. No. Let's just scrap that bit of paper for... Oh, I don't know. Would one of the playing cards fit on it? That's a bit neat, isn't it? A bit tight, so I'll scrap that bit of card for the time being. Um, and let's have a look at this. Right. If I carry on putting the stamps in the background, which I love, incidentally... Look at those goodies. Um, they're all going to have a pretty similar flavour. So I was thinking was, I might stick that, ink it and stick it, and then stamp over it with the Tim Holtz wildflower stamps. What have we got to lose? Sorry if you can hear that side to me. <laughs> it's almost lunchtime. <laughs> get a bit more arty with some of these I might well I certainly will hand paint some of the die cuts I'll cut them out of watercolor paper then I'll be all right to um, you know color them with watercolors and I might even for some of the pages paint a flower I like painting daisies and things like that so I might just do that and add it to the journal so it's all these things I need to have set in my mind before, you know, before I start putting pages together. And I don't want to print single sided pages. If I've then got to go back and print double, but worse than that, I don't want to print double if they end up being, you know, I'd have got away with a single. I'm so tempted to put that there. It's really pretty. Hmm. However, let's not get sidetracked. Let's leave that on its head. Um, I was going to stamp, wasn't I? But I'm going to stamp over all of it. 
right i'm gonna do that it might it might work out it might, it might turn out horrible i, I don't know i've tried it it could be good it could be nasty but it's all right we're not wasting masses of stuff if it is nasty Stamping anything behind it, just going for it. Maybe down to touch that side. Maybe up a touch that side. <laughs> That's pretty much it, I'd say. So I'll just get my bone folder on the job. Okay. Right. Now comes the fun part then. Um, I have got my wildflower stamps out in eager anticipation. I also have a stamping book. What is wrong with the world? Um, and I've got my big set of um, <laughs> big set of the wildflowers, these ones, and my little set that are the same, just much smaller. So I think I might go with a big one. I could go with that one up there. It might look quite nice. I kind of wanted to put some sort of faded ones in the background first. So I might put some biggish ones. Like that one, for example. And I'm going to do them in the pumice stone first, just as a sort of background. And then I'm going to move up to the stays on in the stone grey. That's the plan. It very well might not work. But we'll give it a go. Often I find with a distress ink I get quite a messy stamp. But we'll see. Yeah, that, that didn't really work. Didn't really work at all. I don't think I can overstamp it. Can I overstamp it? What have we got to lose? Yeah, okay. That didn't work. So the pumice stone is no good for doing that. It doesn't work. But if I was to sort of kind of overstamp that with a stone grey, let's see what happens. Stone grey is quite dark. So you should be able to see it, I'd say. Let's see if I can get that over that and then we won't see the horrible, the horrible stamp. They all say give it time, give it time for the ink to transfer, so let's give it time. Yeah, it's a bit messy. It's a little bit on the messy side. I wonder if I used purple. I wonder what that would look like. I mean, I've kind of written this off now. It just hasn't worked properly, so I might as well carry on playing and see what happens. See if I can find some purple somewhere. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, found pads everywhere. That's 
pretty, I'm pretty sure I've got some purple. Well, it's Distress Ink again. Dusty Concord. I don't know what that means even, but never mind. Um, I don't think that's the right stamp for the job. Let's... What about that one? Yeah, let's try that. I'm not holding out any great um, hopes for this. I'm really not. But I'm just curious to see what happens now. Once again, it's Distress Ink, so I'm not holding out, you know, don't think it's going to be brilliant. Oh, you know, it could have been without that stone grey behind it. That could have been all right. All right, I'm going to do that for the next one. I'm just going to have another quick look to see if I've got, because I know that somewhere... I've got some purple archival, but I don't know where. Just have a root around, see if I can see it anywhere. It's always the one colour, isn't it, that you want that goes walk about. Well. I can't see it in my ink drawer. No. Every other colour under the sun. But not the purple. Okay. Doesn't want to be found. I'll use that one now. This, yeah, it's a bit of a goner. It's just too messy. Didn't work. But anyway thanks for trying come back next year we'll ring you right. Whoa. there goes my dauber right let's just ink around here this is a nice daffodil one and it's yellow so we'll take the purple really well because yellow and purple are complementary colors so they make each other pop Yeah, I'm glad I've decided to use that um, pumice stone. Nice colour. Perfect for our requirements. I'm also going to be making, not today, <laughs> some envelopes, some tags, some, uh, once I decide on the size, then I'll make some tummy tuck belly bands. Um, you know, all the good stuff that goes into a journal. Okay, I'm so tempted to stamp the back of that, but I think it might muddy the waters for our stamp that we're going to put on. So I'll resist the temptation. Glue this down and uh, see how brave we feel. this daffodil one. I really don't want to mess it up. But you know that's what happens when you're trying things out. Not everything works. It just doesn't and that's fine. That way then you work out what does work. So don't mind it really. It, it's awful if it's your, you know, your last page or something <laughs> that you foul up on and yeah, you know, we've all been there. But just these sorts of things. As I say, this card's just been sitting on my desk forever. Okay, let's be big and brave. 
Let's have a look at the stamps that I've got. I quite like that one. Um, maybe that one as well. A bit taller up there. Yeah, let's do that one first. This has still got stays on from earlier. <laughs> so I might come out a bit of a weird purple colour. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Oh, I've just dropped it. That's not good. Oh well, it is where it is. Just waiting for that ink to transfer. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. It's not perfect. But who said it had to be? Um, what about that one there? Oh, yeah, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm not going to dither any longer than is necessary. For me, dithering is necessary. I can never decide first up. I have to audition a million things before I decide yet. The first one was the right one. Okay, let's try not to drop this and to get it exactly where you want it, which is there. Whew. Seems to be a lot of holding your breath, doesn't there, when you're doing things like this? Or is it just me? I'm just going to rock it a bit because I want all of it down. Oh, that is so nice. That is so nice. Wow. It went right. What a shocker. <laughs> I really like that. I quite like the plain background as well. I was just sitting here, truth to tell, I was sitting here thinking, I wonder if I should ink up this the this text stamp in purple and just do little bits. That's what I was thinking. I don't know. It would just overwhelm that. So, no, I'm going to leave it. I like it. Satisfied with that one. Excellent. So this is now our last one because the other one was too skinny. This one's not that fat either, to be honest. So I've got two of these left. Um, one that's quite plain. You know, got a big area of text. And this one. So let's just kind of audition both. <laughs> oh dear. This looks like this. Ah, oh, maybe that. Yeah, it definitely is. That is that plant. So maybe that's the one to put there. Yeah, I think so. Uh, this one you could get away with being a bit more upbeat about things. Um, I mean, there's that one. Mm. I think I'm going to keep most of these bigger ones for the the pages because they're just overwhelming my <laughs> they're overwhelming my journal tags journal cards that's quite nice there isn't it if i just chop that off that's not too big or too overwhelming yeah yeah i think mm. yeah i think so i'm going for the planar type version so I'm going to stamp the background, but do you think I should stamp it with flowers? Do you think that would work? If I stamped it, well I didn't have much luck with the hickory smoke, did I? But mm. Let's get this one back out of the bin. Ooh. Nearly dropped the keyboard on the floor. Yeah, let's get this back out of the bin. 
and see if we can actually it's all grubby now but that doesn't matter see if we can stamp flowers in hickory smoke we're going to go for the smaller ones and just give it a go see what it looks like experimentation you can't beat it it's like playtime this looks quite loose on there so please don't fall off oh <laughs> I dropped it again Yeah, I, I don't know that that's all together. Oh, I don't know though, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So back in the bin for you, fella. Uh, this is the right side. So are you stuck down there properly? I hope so. Right, let's ink it up with this. I called it hickory smoke, didn't I? It's pumice stone. So I'm going to go right up the side. That's my intention. So you can see it when the card's in place. Yep, that's good. I like it. Um, I might put another one up there, seeing as I've got it on the block. I think the smaller ones are probably the way to go, especially when I want something around the edge. The big ones are just too big. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, let's do this one. I think this is going to be quite a nice border actually and different to the ones we've already got. I'm looking at that one that we stamped with a purple and it's really pretty. It's worked out well that one. Hooray! This one I might just stamp off the side of the card. Oh yeah, it's working out really well. Uh, I'm going to ink that up again, and maybe maybe just the top part. I'll link it all just in case. I don't know where I'm putting this yet. Centrally, I think. But if it turns out not to be centrally, then I'll wish that I'd stamped the whole thing. I just want that right on the top there. I'm just going to, I am literally just going to stamp the top now because I'm just going to do it there. Maybe a stamp platform. Maybe I should have got my stamping platform out. That would have been way, way, way too organised. Uh, okay, what else have I got in the world of little stamps? Not quite a few. Um, God, it is a titchy one. Let's do that. I love these little ones. They're really, really useful. I've used them loads since I got them. Don't 
fall off. It must be the stumps that are dirty because I washed my blocks yesterday in the sink, proper wash. Yeah, that's looking nice. It's looking nice. Um, are you going to stay on there? Why don't you want to stay on there? Do you have a problem? I know you're supposed to take the ink to the stump. I'm just trying to press the stump on. <laughs> in my lazy way of it. Lovely. Just going to do that top bit. Um, I'm going to put a bit of paper down because I don't want it any further down than that. So it's just the bottom to go. I'm getting quite blasé now, have you noticed? <laughs> quite like I feel it's going to work. So I just really want that top bit. Yeah, that's probably enough it's looking good looking better than I ever thought it would I could make a song about that <laughs> maybe, maybe not oh doesn't that look brilliant is it just me or does that look really nice got a bit of a gap situation there but I haven't put my die cuts on yet so let's stick this on let's make a decision So this was in my head going to be like a 10 minute video <laughs> just stick them on job done have my lunch <laughs> um, and then get back to Mariposa but oh, of course everything takes longer than you think doesn't it it just does let's just get that square I think that's pretty square yeah. This one might be the most successful of all, to be honest. Okay, so there we go, we've got that. So what am I gonna do now? I could put a coloured stamp, like we did with the purple, up there. Or there could be just altogether too many stamps going on. Let's just remove the stamps from the scene of the battle. Um, I could use, like I said, that one, which is really nice. I, I, yeah, I think that's it. Stop faffing around looking for more. So I've still got that little fellow to go on somewhere. Is that the right lens? Needs a little bit, a little bit of snipping on the bottom. Let's try that. Yeah, perfect. Don't need those leaves, I don't think. I think that's quite nice, actually. I quite like that. So let's just glue that on. Like I say, I'm not inking any of the die cuts because in the past, when I've inked die cuts, I, I end up thinking they they look a bit grubby. And grubby has no place in this journal. I want things to look clean and... 
so much so that I'm contemplating not using tea dyed or coffee stained paper, but just using cream paper. Ooh, fancy that. But yeah, that's, um, that's what I'm thinking of doing. Let me just get my towel because my hands are a bit sticky. <laughs> so put it on straight. There we go. Right, I've still got some die cuts left. Like I say, I'll make some painted ones as well. So, I don't know what that was, but I don't need it. Let's have a look at what we've made. Oh, there's another stump. I must wash those out pretty sharpish. Here are our journal cards. Oh, if I put that there, you can't see it. <laughs> I don't think you can see them all at once. Um, let's just move this down a wee bit, and that down a wee bit, and then we'll maybe be able to see them all. Well, sort of. You can sort of see them. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, we had one that was a complete disaster and ended up in the bin. Fair enough. Uh, we were experimenting, so that's what happens. This one I particularly like. I love that purple stamp um, with the with the daffodils. I just really love it. This one I like because I like the stamps around the edge. I might have to go back in there actually. That's, that's just going to annoy me. So that's that's why I wanted that bit of. Um, here's another bit of card that will do the job nicely. So I'm just going to hold that there. I'm going to get a stamp. That one, for example. Because that gap's just going to annoy me. What's the point? Just put that there. Yeah, that's much better. And I've got a gap down here as well. It is better. It's definitely better. It's better. Yeah. Yeah, it's all fixed. Great. Excellent. So, thank you very, very much for joining me on the start of this exciting trip. Um, who knows where it will lead. I like experimenting. Did we only end up with four? We only got four. One, two, three, four, five. No. <laughs> Surely you can count to five. Surely. And there we go. That's them. So thank you very much. We made a start to our lovely new uh, wildflower journal. Uh, the papers are from uh, Tailor Made Journals on Etsy. Uh, the die cuts are Tim Holtz ones. Everything else I've mentioned as I've gone along. And I really, really look forward to part two. So thanks, guys. Take care. Behave. Bye.